My name is Pastor John Kamara. I was always a pastor. I have been in the honey business for a long time. My father was a beekeeper. My father was working with honey and doing business with honey. But uh, at that time, at that time, my father wanted to teach me how to do the beekeeping. He was always saying, "Come, sit. You will learn this, and tomorrow you will get benefit out of it." But at that time, I was not listening because he was forcing me to learn, and. I wasn't so keen After, about it. So then, I learned all about beekeeping. Then, when but when my father died, I, forget about the work. I didn't think about doing this business I anymore. Get all the knowledge. I knew As how I to do it. But, uh, but when I was not interested. Me, then I forget about the and then at all. I left beekeeping aside for a while. But when the war came, so when the war came, we didn't have anything inside the house, and we had no more food. So I started thinking about what to do, and I remember my father teaching me about a road. So I explored that road, and I went to the bush to look for the material, and I installed two beehives. Two local beehives. I hang two local beehives for myself. Then when I hang these two local beehives, then because but of because of the inexperience, pressure, I was so very worried. I, I put down this. Uh, I harvest this up, and beehives. I harvested I too yet. early. Then I just get just a small. And I one. didn't get enough. And that that small one, what I get. Then I, then sold, I sold it, I looked the money. and hey. when I looked at the money, then I, begin for go I realized it. that there was a good potential for the, the business. Year, so the two, year after, from two beehives, to five. I went to five. Then from five, from five to, 15. to fifteen, then and then I begin more and up. more. Then, then I, begin draw my wife I started inside. involving my wife in the process. When I harvest the honey, my wife, they try for my wife helped me prepare this, uh, we in processing it, fine, all cleaning the, all the pots, the pot that and I'm, cooking it. Cook but uh, this but time, yeah, the problem make, was that every year, every year we, the, the local we were destroying we the beehive. You make one for one year, so only for one every year. beehive was lasting just year, one year. You go again for getting Every year, and we had to find new amount. material and start again. But, uh, every every year, year, we were destroying it. When we harvest, we, just we were harvesting like they, they and then destroying the beehives. We not, we don't know about the, the and eggs, we didn't we know, know about, about the eggs, queen, we about, about the queen. Nothing. We didn't know about All anything. The focus we mind, but, uh, so nah, we only nah, focused the honey, on know. harvesting the honey and nothing then, more. When we get on, the moment we had the honey, low, we sold low, it straight away price. at a low, low price. So sometimes, some year, some year, I get uh, fifteen. We had 15 like fifteen gallons, gallons but no, but no, no traders come and no buy. customers. The honey is done for one year. So the honey Nobody was staying like for one year at that time. because no one wanted honey so at that time. I was discouraged. I, know I'm put me honey again. I, know I'm put, uh, put I didn't want to go the, into the honey business the again. again because and we had no not money. enough money. So, so I, go back I went to back to rice farming. At that year, but that uh, year, all the cows, cows, all the cows came chop all my, my spoil, all and the ate rice all the rice. So I, go back again so to the, I went back to, to the, the beekeeping, beekeeping again. So therefore, when you are deep on that beekeeping, but then, and 
I started selling it. And I saw some visitors coming and greeting me. I heard about the Italian Trust Fund. They came. They, want for come help. they wanted to support they want us. For come help, uh, they wanted to support agricultural business. business. So, so they tried to bring one. They identified inside, some beekeepers uh, inside the project. In a beekeeper. But we at that time we were bee killers. We, kill the born, we were born killing the, the bees. Born the bees every year. We, we set were setting fire. fire. Kill all the bees. And Take destroying the beehives, bees, small honey. and we were getting only but, uh, small quantity of honey. When we they kill the bees, but we when we kill the bees, we, we, we didn't know big, very, very serious that it was a serious damage for the beekeepers. So, and then when we get we honey, and then we, we cooked the honey, put her on fire. We put it on fire. All the germs inside we the killed the germs inside the boil honey, them. and we boil it. So we don't know that when uh, we had the, when raw we honey, the raw honey, we don't care about the raw honey. We didn't care All about the raw honey. The only thing that we knew was to, to boil it to cook and cook it and sell it and sell it. And that and honey, that honey you know, so clean, was not of a good quality. Uh, we don't get the shifter. We didn't clean we the honey. Plant a basket. We didn't know about Small the filters. Basket. We just they place the honey, the honey in the basket, when we cook a the small honey, basket, we drain them and then that, uh, we drain basket. it through the small basket, when you and that's it. That honey, if, if you look inside that honey, dirty. it was full so of dirt, inside because we not get and there were so many things inside, to clean as we didn't honey. have any material to clean it. When Dr. Kwame, come, when Dr. Kwame came, I told him that there was an important one in the beekeeping in the area, but I didn't know anything. After Dr. Kwame taught us and he stayed in my house. He taught us during the holiday, during the night, he told us a lot of secrets. Now, I start where Dr. Kwame left me. Now I begin to understand that, and I understand the benefit of beekeeping. beekeeping. Then, after I don't get that class. After I did the class, uh, the, the first year, the first year I, I, bought lot I collected all, all the, the honey I could the get. Honey way I get. The project helped me. And the project helped me. He gave me somebody, he gave me somebody me who taught me how to put in a bottle and, they make the label and label it. They help me, they how to filter it, and then how to sell it in Freetown. I tell you, when the first day we go, when we first market, went to the market, with that bottle, with that bottle we took three cartons to, to the supermarket. supermarket. After we don't don't sell, after we finish it, and then they pull all they the pulled money, out the money, and they, money. they said, "This is your money." Wow. I don't believe. I cannot believe. I don't believe that. I cannot believe you can get all money this money from this small time. amount of honey. The first the trip, trip, I got three million five hundred thousand. The second trip, the I trip barely I reached one million, million for the same amount of honey. And when I get that three million five hundred, I never. Get I worked a, one full year. Uh, I don't get to one million. All it all years way I don't I don't spend and I didn't the, even reach work. one million. I don't even get one million. But when you, the kitchen way I don't get, how they saw me. But the bottle before they thought me this one, and showed me how to bottle the honey, and we, we used to sell it in bulk sell of five bulk, gallons. Five gallons. Twenty twenty five thousand. Five leons, gallons. Twenty five thousand leons. leons. Now. When we kept this now, honey, pure when honey we bring the, the pure the, honey to, to the, the supermarket, market, just remember five five gallon. Remember, 000, before we used to sell it for twenty five thousand leons, and this one we sell it to the supermarket for twenty five thousand leons. A small one like this, twenty five thousand. So, I, I begin to so see that I start seeing this that this was a benefit for me. For know that, knowing uh, that. Small, the small honey, small honey like this, one, like this sold at 25,000 and the, and the five, five gallons gallon, also 25,000. What's the difference? What's the difference? A big, 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 big difference. It's a big, big, big difference. Now, after 
I don't come, then I take my after I came, money. I took this money for my car, I gave and then Sheila, I called my group. Groups. I provide that, and I show the three, three million. millions. And then build a we start a building center. a business center. Because I know when because that I knew building complete, that when that building would be all complete, the farmers would all the farmers benefit. would benefit from it. And, and then we begin to move and begin to we started build building that, that shelter. That uh, center with power, with gladness. Then every month, every month I go out. Out of my own pocket, I take the money out the of farmers, my pocket to teach, to show, show the, farmers, the farmer, for make the farmers they know do the how not to do to the wrong things, for make they not lose then products and avoid they losing the products of the farm. the farm. Now, I get a fifteen. I have fifteen groups, groups under me. Me, all the groups then say, and they, they see me as a chairman. chairman. Then, from that point. And then I try, I try to the teach groups, them show them how to how to, how process, to process well, well. So, so then that make you know you know you know boil the, the so uh, the, they will not boil the, the honey, honey any adult. longer and the other method and we the other method that we utilized we been this was that we used to cow dung when we plant this when we set the local beehive, beehive we take cow dung we apply cow dung we apply the cow dung so outside the beehive and put them. oh Dr. Kwame said and we Dr. Kwame do that one at all, at all, at all. If told you us want to make your honey, we were not supposed to do scent. that. If you want the honey what? to have a good it taste for and you want to enjoy it, then that scent, you, know, you don't have to put the cow dung. All right, then, after we don't begin... Uh, Once we install the, the local beehives, local beehives without, without cow the cow dung, then, then the, market the market changed smoothly, and everyone land. wanted the honey. Now, this beekeeper and the business grow became and bigger grow and bigger. And Everybody wants so now to be a everyone wants to be Everybody a beekeeper want be a, a and wants person. to be like me. But, but the problem now, right now we get a is that we have a lot honey. of honey. Baku honey de. A lot of honey. Everybody Therefore, for everybody bee, is now willing to take its. Uh, Honey this year. Own this year, honey this year. We plan for get more honey, and we plan. The for, plan now uh, is to generate honey to the office, and give it to the that office. That helped us for to find customers. We get big, big uh, harvest, harvest. We will this have year. a big harvest this year. And you know, go to the, We the then on, uh, went Mr. to see Jallo Mr. Jallo, in honey order to tell him now, that we had a lot of honey to, to be sold in Freetown. That now we and we realized now that the major problem the, the was finding a way to, to send it to the center and, how and then the to the market in Freetown. For me, how will my honey farm? reach the market? Me, one for me, I for my farm? To to three drums, four drums so every. I'm able to reach two, farmers, three drums some every year. Get one drum. Some groups some will group produce will one, two drums. some, some two, will get, uh, some group will get less than that. that. But if we bring but everything, if we bring together everything in, the center, in the center, it will be a big, big, big harvest. It will be a big harvest. And, we'll go leg for, begin and then for export we'll be honey. able to export honey. One for begin for sell, um, sell honey so to, we'll be able uh, to sell it in Italy, Italy France, France, and England, England. everywhere. everywhere.